Hey guys, happy Monday. It's my first official day of holidays. Well, actually I was off on Saturday and Sunday, obviously, but today is my first Monday. I'm off and I am here with, oh, you can't see him that well. See, it's kind of hard because I have my phone flipped, so. But um, I there's a Christmas tag that I saw this morning on YouTube and YouTube sorry my voice is just awful though excuse me but uh, I really want to do it It looks like fun so I got it from Crystal's channel actually life with Crystal um, I will link her video down below where I got it from but she says she got it from boys with dolls I think but it's described in her video so if you want to go check it out that I thought was a fun tag to do it's called the Christmas tag and um, I thought that I would talk to you guys today and um, but quickly show you let's see if I can show you here is let's see there is Julia and Louie looking so cute oh they're so adorable and I have to vacuum today Sorry, I have to vacuum today. I have to dust today, but my tree is done. Let's see. See? There is my tree over there. This year, I keep, I just keep it simple and um, traditional. I like the multicolored lights. Uh, there are candy canes on there and glass ornaments. So, actually, those glass ornaments were the ones that my parents had when I was a kid. So... It's really awesome. So let's see if I can pick up Julia with one hand. Let's see. I'll try. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to hurt her neck. Here. Oh, she's so cute. Look how close her skin tone is to me. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. Julia. Julia. And Louie. Louie is heavier. Louis is heavier, so I won't open him. Okay, so I wrote the questions down on a piece of paper. I can use my phone because I'm using my phone to record. So, um, actually, my arm is really tired holding it like this. So I'm going to pause and I'm just going to do it the other way. <laughs> okay, just stay tuned. Hey guys, so this will allow my arms to be a lot more rest free. <laughs> and look, I have some presents there to go. My dad's house, some backup paper towels for when Christmas comes. Bunch of mess right there. Here is Colton, looking so cute. And here is Nicholas, looking so cute as well. And um, now that I have you in the proper way, here is our tree. Let's see if you can see me. <laughs> so there is our tree. It's just an artificial tree. Um, my light, my star broke this year. I mean, it's not working anymore. So I'm going to want to buy another one very, very soon. As soon as I can. We have presents under there waiting to be opened i can't wait can't wait so oh i wanted to show you this i bought this recently from avon i also sell avon and i wanted a really really cute elephant to go with bethany because her theme is elephants and um but it's huge this thing is so big I thought it would just be a little stuffy, but it's actually a quite big stuffy, so I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I mean, I love it. It's so soft, but I'm not going to open it yet because I have no room. I didn't think it would be that big, so I thought it would be like the size of, here, just a sec, like here is Francine, but I thought it would be small like this. But it's not it's huge it's quite big but anyways here are my well one girl one boy 
my sweeties. Well, they're all my sweeties. He's so cute. Even his skin tone is very closely to mine, too. So, okay, let's get on with the tag. Question number one. What is my favorite holiday movie? Well, I do have quite a bit of traditional um, movies. In fact, I have a lot. <laughs> um, our family, we enjoy pretty much all kinds of movies. We like comedies, thrillers, action. Um, but, let's see. I don't know if I have... Here's a set that we always like to watch. Fred Claus, Christmas Vacation, and Elf. This movie right here, I still never opened it yet. I haven't, oops. I haven't seen this one yet. Mixed Nuts. So, I don't know. I've heard it's really good, but I just never tried it yet. Maybe I should try it today. But yeah, this is the only one I haven't seen yet. This is our movie, especially. Let me see if it comes up here. And with the Blu-rays. A Christmas Story. That one is the one that we always have to watch. And I love this movie. So, yeah, we just watched it the other day. But there's a new movie that I just bought. <sighs> I know I just bought it. I know I did. Is this Christmas? The kids like the... I have a Christmas. Um, I just bought one, but... Let me see if I can... I know I just bought one. I bought... Um... It's... It's the, um... It's a Rudolph one. These are, I have to go through these. These are all out of order. I normally like to organize my movies like kids and thrillers and comedy and um, like, you know, I like to do that. Like organize like all my Christmas together. But my boys, they went through here one day and now everything is mixed up. But there, I just bought one recently. It is a, see, look, upside down. I can't stand that. <laughs> um, it is uh, Rudolph the Reindeer. When I was a kid, but I don't know where I put it. I know I just bought it. I wonder if it's, no. Huh. But I really want to watch that one. Where did I put it? Hmm. I know I just bought it. It's like um that um it's not really a cartoon, it's kinda of like clay animation of Rudolph the Reindeer. But I don't know where I put it. I wonder if it's behind. Commando. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger movies too. Let's see. What's in there? Now I'm now I am totally making a mess. But that's okay because that means I can clean it up properly. I don't know where it is. But anyways. I do want to see that one too. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So I really, really want to find it and watch it. I wonder if it was on Blu ray though. I don't think it was on Blu ray. Did I got it? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just wasting time. It's in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to have to go through all my stuff. So, what's this is one? Oh, that's the one we watched yesterday. I love this movie. My son and I, we love that movie. Anyways, 
Um, but the one, the number one is probably this one. I love that one the most. So, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up. <laughs> I will. And I'll clean it up properly. Okay, number two. What is your favorite Christmas color? Probably definitely red. I mean, when I was a young girl with my black hair, everyone said that red looked the best on me. Sorry. It's totally not focusing on anyone. <laughs> Number three, do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas? We'll definitely stay in my pajamas. But when we go like from house to house, um, I try and look nice. Like I'm not wearing super formal stuff, but like nice casual stuff is what I wear. Um, number four, if you could only buy one gift for someone this year, who would it be? That one is super hard because I have three sons and I I can't just choose one. Um, I have a mom and I have a stepmom. I can't just choose one. It, it's to me it's not fair. If I buy just for one person in the family, I just I can't. So here's my answer: If I could only buy one gift for someone. It would be a gift for somebody totally random that I happen to see in the streets on my way to shopping. Or if I see someone who looks like they need a present, like somebody who is looking lost or sad or something, I would just give it to a total stranger. So because I can't just choose one person from my family, it, to me it's just not fair. So if if you're not getting a gift in my family, no one's getting a gift. So I would pick somebody totally random. Number five, do you open your gifts Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Um, coming from a divorced family, I we take turns. Um, my mom will have Christmas Day one year. My dad will have Christmas Day the other year. Now, whoever has Christmas Day... The other person will open their presents on Christmas Eve. So we have opened gifts both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for since I was 12. Now before that, my parents were still together and we might have were able to open one present Christmas Eve and everything else Christmas morning. Now on myself, I am divorced with an ex-husband. We share the kids. We have 50-50 custody. And we have agreed to alternate Christmas days as well. So um, my boys will be opening Christmas gifts at my house on the 20, well, the 23rd, actually. The reason why not Christmas Eve is because a lot of my family members have to work on Christmas Eve, so it's not going to be fun. So we're going to do them the 23rd, and then they'll go back to their dad's house and open presents with him on Christmas Day. So we do both. Number six, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Um, I have, but not total from scratch. Um, I, I built one out of a kit before. And also, I'm a teacher and at our school, we build gingerbread houses, but we don't use gingerbread. We use um, graham crackers, those big kind. So um, we use those to build um gingerbread houses and it's really fun and it's a lot easier so number seven any Christmas wishes um, I'm gonna share with you a wish that I have wished sorry every single year okay I'm trying not to cry um, I wish this every every single Christmas Eve since the longest time that I can remember and okay you know how you have that moment when okay you know when you have that special moment you feel completely relaxed you feel completely stress-free you feel safe you feel um, content 
and you just you might remember a certain memory or you have a certain smell and it makes you smile just a sincere smile like not a sneer smile like not a revenge smile but just a nice smile of peace and every Christmas Eve for as long as I can remember since I was a little girl I wish that every person on earth will have that moment even if only for a second even even the criminals in jail even the poor people even the angry people even everyone babies to old people to everyone I almost wish to have to have just that one moment it might last for two seconds it might last for a minute but I always wish for that for that one moment of pure peace and content and happiness and relaxation and you smile and you have a really nice smile sorry mm -hmm. um number eight my favorite christmas smell i do love the smell of gingerbread cooking um actually probably the smell of a turkey cooking is really really yummy um I, you know what? Did you know that wrapping paper has a smell? <laughs> the paper that you use to wrap. Oh, I always, like with all this wrapping paper, you get that overwhelming smell of all this paper. And I really like that smell. I don't know. I might have a sensitive nose. Okay, I do have a sensitive nose. And all that wrapping paper smell is what I like too. Um... Let's see, next question, number nine, your favorite Christmas meal. Well, our Christmas meal is a lot like our Thanksgiving meal. We'll have a turkey, we'll have like pierogies, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, um, all these different sides. But the two sides that I absolutely love at Christmas time, and we only have it at Christmas time, is Jell-O. <laughs> My mom will make red and green jello, and it's the only time ever that we, as kids, are allowed to have jello with our meal. And I love that. So, yeah, um, that would probably be the most favorite is having red and green jello with the meal. Like, not as a dessert, but actually with it. So, I used to hate it when gravy might accidentally get onto the jello but now I just ask for a separate plate if we're allowed. <laughs> uh, number 10 candy cane or gingerbread man? Um, I like them both um, but I do love the gingerbread man uh, either the hard cookie way or the soft cookie way. I probably prefer the soft cookie but I do also enjoy the hard one like ginger snaps they're hard but um sometimes I do like the soft gingerbread but I also enjoy candy canes as well um, number 11 what is my favorite Christmas song I love all Christmas songs um, there are a few that make me cry <laughs> um, the little drummer boy makes me cry oh holy night makes me cry sorry just thinking about the lyrics um, but I think the one that I sing the most often is um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town because I am a teacher and I do sing the song to my kids every year and the song, <laughs> instead of giving them trouble, like say if they got, um, if they're hitting somebody or fighting with somebody or saying bad things choices of words I won't give them heck I'll just look at them sternly and I'll start singing that song you better watch out you better not cry you better not pout I'm telling you why and I might not sing the whole thing to them at that time but they know exactly how the song goes I always sing that song every year 
And at the end, I always say, that is a true story, kids. <laughs> true story. So you better watch out for real. <laughs> so I think that one is my favorite song. Although I love all of them. Um, number 12, Have You Ever Made a Snowman? Of course. Um, I live in Canada. Of course we make snowmans every year. I haven't made one in a while because, um, I don't know, the last few Christmases were really extremely cold. But this year has been really nice and warm. But I haven't really been outside. I don't know, I'm getting older now and it's harder for me to bend down. And I have sore backs a lot lately. So, and I get, I get tired pretty fast. So, I haven't built a snowman in a while, but, but I have many, many, many times. Number 13, what is the most important to you for the holidays? Well, the most important to me for the holidays is spending time with family and friends and making sure that you, um, tell them how you feel how you appreciate them and um just loving them and um i don't know food <laughs> i don't know to me the food is important i gotta make sure i have lots of it and everyone's favorite i make sure i have things that everyone loves um also christmas in our family is magical um like for instance like our tree like the multicolored Everything has to be magic. Now, normally I have decorations up on the ceiling. I haven't had time, but if you see closely, I do have um, hooks that I keep up all year round. And I will string lights up there. This year I haven't because um, I actually... My poor Christmas tree, my star is out. A lot of lights were out, so I had to use up my ceiling lights for uh, my tree so and I haven't had time to put up my ceiling decorations but I do always have like a Christmas table um, we'll fill it up with treats like right now it's just bought and treats like chocolates and candy canes and jujubes and jelly beans but normally I will have like cookies on there homemade cookies and homemade dainties and stuff like that so um is magic in our house magic magic so to me the mo most important thing for me is to feel the magic of Christmas and the magic of giving and love and that sincere happiness of that smile that everyone loves to do and the feeling of gratitude so that is the most important thing for me at Christmas so that is the Christmas tag. That is everything. Um, sorry it was a really long video to give out those answers. But um, you guys will know what I will be doing after this. <laughs> I will be reorganizing everything. And I have to find that reindeer. Rudolph the Reindeer movie. I know I have it somewhere. Hmm. I'm going to have to find it. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day and enjoying your holidays. And are you all done your Christmas prep? Um, I finally finished everything yesterday with these presents here. I finally got them wrapped up. They're for my dad's house. So I will be bringing those to him very shortly. So I hope you guys are having a really great day and a really great week. And now that I'm off for the holidays, I'm hoping to make more videos for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So bye guys. Bye for now. And until next time, have a great day.